In today's video, I'm gonna show you how Uber's playing with your money and how they're hiding tips 100%. Let's go. It's not just DoorDash. Uber does it, and if anybody tells you different, they're wrong. Let's step into the office. Today, we embark on a journey to talk about and find and explain how hidden tips are also on Uber Eats, and some know, many don't. DoorDash isn't the only company that hides tips. I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown as to why I have what I believe to be scientific proof behind the matter. Let's go. So these are doors we're talking about that always go up 100% of the time. I'll show you guys. And you notice how Uber Eats says expected tip. The reason they say that in my opinion is because as we know, the customer can up the tip, which happens very rarely. After somebody gets their food, they don't go back in the app most of the time and give the driver more, most of the time. It does happen though. Or the customer can take the tip away. They can decrease it or take it all the way down to zero, called tip baiting. That doesn't happen often, but that happens as well. Many of you guys know that. So that's why they're, they're saying expected tip, but the algorithm knows what the tip is. The tip is there. Because when you place your order on Uber Eats, the information is there, it knows it. That's where they're coming up with that number. But what Uber Eats does is when a customer tips more than $8, so my, most of the time, my base pay, most of the time on single orders, if there's no surge, $3. So you take the three base pay, you add eight, you get 11. It's always more. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute and in other examples. I do not come to Sonic. It's actually on my list. But when I saw this order, I wanted, I'm, we're doing a science project here because I am 100% sure it's gonna go up because they've always done it. And I'll show you guys other orders later. But I, Sonic takes forever. Um, you know, it is what it is, but the money's good. The miles are fine. I think it was three miles or something like that. So, but Sonic is like, this is crazy. We've been here for maybe 15 minutes now. Oh, I'm doing it for science, y'all. Trying to educate and also get y'all's opinion on this. But man, this is brutal. Insanity. All right, so we got our Sonic, 11 bucks. We're 2.5 miles away. No problem at all. We'll go drop this off. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's gonna say three bucks, should say $3, right? Um, and then the tip, you know, will, the, the, the final pail will come in after. And I'll show you guys that what that, I'll show you guys what that is and it will be more than 11 bucks. Swap this off, baby. All right, delivery complete. So we are at, see how it says three bucks? I'm gonna go ahead and click on this guy right here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I found out when it says 11, and even on stacks, we'll talk about that later, but stacks is a different price point, it's harder to figure out, okay? So I am a blue driver, I'm not diamond, I'm not anything special, and you see here, $11, is what it showed me, it's paying me three right now. So Uber is predicting or knowing there's a eight dollar tip but it's going to be more they hide it when the customer tips more than eight very similar what doordash does when a customer tips more than four dollars and i've shown you guys this literally a million times in my area if it's 625 and it's four or five miles or less 95 percent of the time that 625 goes up sometimes it's 50 cents sometimes it's 20 20 50 dollars it's crazy uber does the same exact thing when they're showing you an estimated eight dollar tip when this cut, when this finalized tip comes in, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. But hit more details on some of Another thing that the base pay on Uber is lower than any other app, actually. Base pay 187, trip supplement 113. That's how they get to the three. Sometimes it'll say base three. But uh, Uber has been known. They play with this money, guys. They hide pennies and cents here. They'll say there's some kind of promotion or surge and they'll lower the base pay and then put a surge in. But then really the base pay is the same as if there wasn't a surge. Follow me. I'm giving you guys information, right? At the end of the day, I take things at face value mostly. So, you know, you take a good order, you make what you make. But this whole purpose of the video is for you guys to make better informed decisions so that when you see $11 for a few miles or whatever, I recommend taking it because it's always going to be more. Sometimes it's nine cents like you'll see or like, like, like I'm showing you guys, but they always hide tips. Every platform learns from each other. So you don't think Uber, the people that make the programming and all that and run the algorithm and run the company, they, they know that DoorDash hides tips. They know that. And they also know that in doing that, it's a way for them to get more orders delivered. So, yeah. So before we get too far along in the video, because y'all know me, I like to talk, right? <laughs> a 
Let me know your experiences. In your market, is your base pay initial pay from Uber different? Mine's three usually, but also Uber will, on stacked orders, they'll add one that says like $1.50. You know, I've seen base pay for $2 and change. If there's a surge or some kind of whatever, and for those of you who don't know, Uber Eats uh, or Uber has surges. So if it's Uber Eats, you might think it, if it's like a multiplier. I have the Uber Driver app. I've already talked to you guys about how everybody should have the Uber Driver app. Sign up for Rideshare. You don't have to do it. And then fold in your Uber Eats because you'll actually take advantage of all the promotions and surges. That's a video for another day. And actually, I've done that video several months ago. But let me know what is your starting pay. And have you guys seen what I have seen and what I've been talking about? That when a consumer tips $8 or when they tip more than $8, Uber hides it. And then they tell you at the end that they tip more at the end. False news. And also, because I don't, quick disclaimer, I don't work with, I don't work for Uber Eats, so I have no idea 100% how their algorithm works. None of us do for any of these apps, right? But I can speak from my experience, and if, you know, think about it like this, 100% of the time I've had an order that's 11 bucks, or if it's a stack, like I had one yesterday, 18 bucks, and I wind up going to like 19 or 20. And if you look at the more details, you can see here the customer broke down, the customer had tipped more than eight, they only showed me they tip eight. That's why the order went up. They did not tip more. They didn't give me an extra 51 cents or whatever it was afterwards. That's just extremely rare, right? But 100% of the time, I know you guys are getting tired of me saying it, when I've had an 11 or a stack and the customers tip more than eight and I, I see, wow, why was it more? It's because they tip more than eight bucks. So 100% is pretty good. And I've done this hundreds of times. So larger sample size. So this is more accurate than you are not the father, Maury Povich, right? 99.9%, .9 you are the father, you are not the father. It's more accurate than the Lysol can that says it, 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 it disinfects 99.9% .9 of germs. This is 100%, guys, because it's been, literally been hundreds of times. You can look at the backlog of these videos I've done. So I feel like while I can't say it's 100 because I don't work for the company and I don't make the software, I can say in my experience, 100% of the time, that's, that has been true. And I can also say only once or twice have I gotten an extra tip on Uber when the order came in, at, let's say it came in at nine bucks. So it's showing me they tip like four, five, six bucks, whatever, right? Only one or, two, one or two times the tip's gone up from there. So when a customer initially tips below eight bucks, 99% of the time you're not getting more money. Maybe cash, but that's a different story, different video. But as far as on the app, the customer going back in and giving you more money, 99% of the time it's not gonna happen. So I'm doing this to show you guys in real time how to find the money, how to game the system, how to really work it. You don't have to be diamond, platinum, none of that. I've been diamond and I've been platinum and I've been gold with Rideshare. Not with Uber Eats, but with Rideshare. Uh, last year when I started, or two years ago really, two, it was two years ago. And there are benefits of diamond as far as Rideshare. You get to see where the customers, like the actual drop off and things like that. But on Uber Eats, I'm not sure, can't speak to that. But I can say that my initial offer screen for me being a blue driver versus a diamond is exactly the same. There's no difference there at all. All right, just came in. You see how it's 11.65? Do you see how it showed me 11 and it went up? Let's send the thanks. So, you, so some people would have you to believe that this gentleman tipped an extra 65 cents after I gave him that food. False false statement this 865 was there the whole time uber hides tips lies they did not tip more it was there the whole time so now that we've proved now that we've proven that and now that i've rambled and some of y'all that knew that already are like pedro shut up i knew that and others that didn't know now you know uber hides tips they play they manipulate the money just like DoorDash, but in different ways. I can't give you any more proof than that. Knowledge is power. As content creators, we have uh, responsibilities to give out right information. And I rant and ramble and give opinions, but at the end of the day, I feel very firm that 100% out of hundreds of orders, when a customer tips more than eight bucks and that's what it's showing you, or it's showing you $11, or it's a stack like this one here yesterday, and it goes up and you see the customer that tipped $8, they magically tip me more. No, it can't. It's too, it's not a coincidence. It's just fact, and it is what it is. I'm not mad about it, but I want you guys to be informed and have the correct information. 
diamond drivers don't have privileges to seeing full payouts or making more money in any type of way. Do what works for you in your market. I'm an Uber Blue driver, still make good money, still get good offers, still get tips afterwards. Uber plays a game with all the drivers, regardless of tier level. See you tomorrow.